Hi there. So I was cutting some of those pesky branches in my yard the other day, right? And it got me thinking, how much current am I drawing through this chainsaw right here, right? So today, we are going to measure the inrush current on this chainsaw. For doing this, we'll be using our PA3000 power analyzer um, and the breakout box right here, OK? Uh, the breakout box basically helps us plug the, the chainsaw in, right? It breaks the voltage, so we can measure the voltage right here. And it breaks the current, that way, the current can be measured through the internal shunt. Okay, so that's our setup right there. Uh, we'll go to the software now, set up inrush current measurements, and ha see how it's done. All right, so we are going to start with default setup on the software. Um, this is obviously PowerV software. We'll be measuring, you know, setting up inrush current for this. Okay, uh, for the input, this is one phase two wire. We'll label this as chainsaw input. And within that setup, we'll try and select VRMS, ARMS, watts, right? Um, we are trying to measure inrush current, so we'll select A peak plus and minus because it can be positive or negative. And with the range, you're going to select the maximum range, okay? Because I don't really know what the inrush current is, right? Uh, if it is too high and uh, the, the power analyzer starts auto-ranging, uh, it will lose the inrush current measurement, right? So you don't want power analyzer in auto ranging while you're trying to measure inrush current. Okay, so we are doing the maximum range here. Uh, we don't need the harmonics for now, so we'll just get rid of them, and that should do it. Uh, let's go to the measure page. Uh, this is right here. Uh, we'll get rid of the averaging again, right? As I said, because we are measuring inrush current, uh, we don't want to average those results. We want the instantaneous inrush current, okay? We'll get rid of the zero blanking, and that's it. Hit the start button, and we should have the measurements now. All right, so it's uploading all the settings to the analyzer. You'll see the screen updating, and there you go. All the measurements are coming in, right? What you see right now is all noise because the chainsaw is not running. Uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll right-click on a peak measurements, and we'll trend this measurement so we can visually see what's going on, okay? And we'll do the same thing for a peak minus, and we can probably do the same thing for ARMS so we can see what the nominal current is once the chainsaw starts running. Okay, that's it. We are all set up. Let's have the chainsaw, right? Let's see how much inrush current we are pulling in. So, ready? There you go. So, let's check how much inrush current we got. As you can see on the screen now, uh, the maximum ARMS value was about 13 amps, right? Let's go to the peak values. There you have it. You can see all those inrush currents coming in. On positive A peak, we have about 50 amps. It's very close to 48, right? So you can go to measurements again. You can see them right here. Okay? So A peak, the maximum was 54 amps for inrush current, and the minimum, right? Now, you can always log these measurements. There's a record button right here, and you can get that in Excel, right? Anyways, this was our presentation. Um, now you know it, how much inrush current a change supports. I'm Sushang Malak. Thanks for watching.